Yo, what's going on guys? This is your boy Poison Akami here, me, myself and I, back at it again with another video and today is going to be a character guide on Minato Namikaze. This is a heavily requested character guide by many, especially my friend Icy Namikaze, so shout out to you brother. Here, this is for you. Let's get into it. So his item set is pretty standard. It's got three kunai bags, which isn't necessarily great. And then he has a attack down tag as well. And then he has um, speed up pills as well. And then, you know, his usual guard break pills that everybody has. So that is his um, item set. Okay, pretty standard, pretty bland. I wouldn't recommend using him first. On my main team with Minato, with that I have a Jiraiya and Naruto, I would easily pick either Minato or, I'm sorry, uh, Jiraiya or Naruto first because they have paper bombs and it just works well with the overall team where Minato doesn't. I usually prioritize paper bombs because I find them to be better items than the items that Minato has. All right, so let's get into his combos. So his combos are pretty standard. Um, this is his down combo. No infinites, but if you want to do make an infinite out of it, um, you can do an infinite with his uh, pills right here. You can do this with any pill, as long as you cancel fast enough. So again, this is just down combo, and then when unslide, jump out of the combo. As you can see, I jump out very, very slightly. I, I, I equip the, attack, uh, the pill very quickly. I'm equipping it so fast, you don't even notice I'm jumping out half the time. And then you can continue. Let me actually uh, turn on the guard so it looks legit. <laughs> there you go. Oops, for some reason the pill didn't register. Okay, so there's that there for you guys. And then also, just pretty much anywhere in this combos, you can just do the tag. You know, just do the tag, I guess. Uh, I usually do the tag down here, or I'll do it there. Because um, I just feel like it may make sense just to do it there. So, yeah, just something like that. Um, you know, just, just do it anywhere. Anywhere it can connect, and then you can connect the combo off of it. Um, so let's go into his neutral combo. His neutral combo looks like this. Good for a strike back, as you can see. But we don't really care about that. We're more interested in infinite combos. So infinite combos that you can do is hollow stepping. So this is his first one. It's just the first three hits of the circle button. Um, we can do it easier with hollow stepping. And then that's uh, that one there as well. Um, but yeah, so one, two, three. You can do it by regular jumping and try to rely on the range of the um, of the first hit. You know, you could try and do that, but I find that hollow stepping is much easier. And it's a good way to just practice your hollow steps. You know, if you're if you haven't learned hollow stepping yet, it's good for that. But yeah, that's the first one. But if you don't like that one, there is a more secure one of his kunai. So he throws the kunai at this. Just feels much better, plus you're getting more damage in as well. So I do recommend um practicing this one instead. Sadly, you cannot jump normally. You just don't have enough time. If you jumped normally, you'd have to like do like a chakra dash or something. You know? So, um... Make sure that you're doing it like this. And uh, you're good to go. So yeah, make sure that you're learning hollow steps. Um, if you accidentally mess up the hollow step and you do a ninja movement like this, just cancel it with a pill and you'll be fine. Like, as long as you have the fast reactions, like Minato does, uh, you know, the Minato brain. Uh, so, yeah, uh, if you fuck up and you're like, whoops, pill, save yourself. Minato is a character who can save himself when you mess up his combos as long as you are fast. You gotta be as fast as Minato. It doesn't mean you gotta play him super fast and aggressive. It just means that you have to, um... It just means that you have to basically just, like, you know... Just play him sensibly. Play him with, uh... With whatever speed you can uh without having to be aggressive you know it means just having your your fast wit and your fast button inputs but yep this is his uh his neutral infinite with the hollow step if you don't know how to do hollow step guys please check out my hollow stepping tutorial and you'll be doing stuff like this in no time and then because of this you can land an ultimate jutsu there and also you can land an ultimate jutsu after his kunai i will show you what it looks like for your reference and ease of mind so there you go. Some people who don't know how to do it almost properly, make sure you're ninja moving out of the combo for it. So you notice how I ninja move and then go into the Omo Jitsu. If, uh, I ninja move backwards to show how easy it is, um, but you can ninja move towards the enemy as well. Like this. 
So make sure you do that. I've seen, uh, especially you, Icy, as well. I'm not, gonna, not trying to call you out too much, but uh, I've seen you play in streams and stuff, and you have a habit of doing this. That's not good, because look at the damage. Hold on a sec. Why uh, do your life gauge is normal? Just take a look at the damage right there. Very small damage. Very small damage. Not good. Not good at all. Where if we restart it, and I show you the damage of ninja moving, as well as like if you ninja move. Big boy damage. So make sure that when you're doing your combos to UJs, everybody, that you are ninja moving out of your combos. Because if you don't ninja move out your combos and you do an ultimate, you're going to get some piss poor ultimate like this and it's going to be terrible. So make sure you're always ninja moving before the ultimate. You know, this is co combo cancel. It's cancelling the combo into something else. So this is combo cancel into ninja move. This is combo cancel into jutsu. You can do combo cancels and ultimates. You can do combo cancels into... You can do combo cancels into kunais, uh, tracker kunais, not regular kunai. They took that out of this game. But, you know, combo cancels, 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 cancels. Make sure you're cancelling, jumping, and ninja moving. Jump cancels and ninja move cancels are your best friend, especially with Minato. All right, so there's that. And then let's get into his up combo. So his full up combo looks like this. I like the ending of this because it's a very big bounce. But you know what else I like? I like how far he takes his opponent into the air. Um, so. Obviously, they can rebound after the bounce. So I'm just going to show that right there. You can try and get a juggle off um, like that. But if you don't get the juggle off, if you whiff it for whatever reason, or if you just let them drop down to the ground properly, they will do that. Um, so make sure um, if you do like the full combo, try and catch them at a reasonable height. And then you can juggle them. But you don't even have to worry about that. Basically, we can do something like this. If you are know, if you know that your opponent is blocking, similar to what Eno does in her combos, you can guard manipulate their block just by jumping out and uh, throwing a kunai. Now, there are multiple ways to do this, but jumping out on kunai, I find is the best way to do it, the most optimal way to do it. Why? Because it doesn't cost you any resources. You can do it like this, but that costs uh, chakra kunai and just seems kind of dumb. Um, you could do something like this. Oh, sorry, I messed up. Actually, I'm gonna take us back to the center. I don't like being like on the end, invisible wall. Um, so you can do something like this as well. Bum, 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 bum. So you can jump out and ninja move. If you look at the controller, you can tell I'm ninja moving. Like so. Um, but yeah, I think it's just easier to throw a kunai. You can do some stylish things with it as well, so something like this. I know you guys like that one. And then you can do something like this as well. So you can hollow step backwards, throw a kunai into Omojitsu or Tilt. Um, I can show you once again. So that's one land right there. And then, yeah, as I showed the first time, you can do it with a tilt as well. Um, you know, it's something stylish, you know, for those of you who like to look flashy. I like to sometimes look flashy, so sometimes I do something like that. Um, it's pretty much like the only combo you can do that with. But you can do all the same stuff and just by jumping regularly. You don't have to holo step. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like just without holo stepping, guys, just for those of you who want to know. There you go. So something like that. All right. Uh, so that's pretty much like his up combo. So you can land his Omojutsu from his up combo through guard break. So he has, uh, sorry, guard manipulation. So through guard manipulation, you can extend it with a tilt. You can infinite it. You can guard manipulate. You can land an Omojutsu. With guard manipulation is a key to extending combos and getting extra damage. You can look at it as infinite stun, if you will. Just it's not infinite stun. It's manipulating the guard and leaving them open on the ground. Uh, those of you who don't know how to guard manipulate, please check out my guard manipulation tutorial and it will teach you how to do that there. But again, if you want to track back to the video and watch that and see what I'm doing on the controller on the screen, then be sure to do so. Right, anyways, on to the next part. So Minato has a very long grab. You can hit it from about here. Very nice and long. Um, even from like the get-go, if you like start out. So this is like regular starting um, position. From regular starting position, you can land a full range grab with Minato as well. Uh, I think you can step back a little bit. 
Yeah, you can still you can step back a little bit. Like it just goes to show how long Minotaur's grab really is. Um, so yeah, this is about like the full range, full range Minotaur grab. So the grab is pretty bad because it's full range. You know, it has full range, and plus it takes Minotaur a long time to get back into neutral game. As you can see, I'm hitting a lot of buttons. I can't do anything for like a good, let's see, one, two, about one and a half, two seconds, right? Uh, but it takes about like a half, half, you know, about a second and a half or something. I don't know. Um, so it's, it's quite like a pain in the ass, like 1.5 seconds. Um, so whenever you use this, make sure you are switching last minute to Jiraiya uh, or switching to your support even, you know, like if it misses, it's cool. If it misses, just switch to Nar Naruto or whatever. But what I do recommend doing, guys, is that I'd recommend switching regardless if you think they're going to dash at you or attack you whilst it's in the middle of his active frames. His active frames are from here. There. So the active frames are when the kunai is out away from Minato's body and is going towards the enemy. Um, the reason why I say you should switch is because something kind of interesting happens when you switch midway. <laughs> it goes to the other character's grab. So say that you just throw out the grab and the neutral, which is what I do with Minato a lot, just to show that the opponent that I'm confident and that I have a, be a better head game than them. Sometimes I'll do that, but the grab will land successfully and I'll do something like this. <laughs> and if it goes to Naruto, that's cool because with Naruto, we can go to air combo. So when picking out your grabs for your characters, um, think about like if you accidentally do that, think about your supports. Think about if you can get something more because if you land a, 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 a happy accident, so a happy accidental grab of Minato, make it Naruto's grab, that's a free air combo or a free jutsu. Um, you know, so be sure to keep that in mind when you're doing the grab. But yeah, the grab it can be used. Um, I use it like defensively. I, I always just make sure you switch. You know, make sure that you're switching away. You know, as you can see, even when Minato disappears, the kunai still flies at the opponent, which means that when the kunai is still flying, you can switch to the other character and they do their grab. That's just how like the mechanics work of the game, I guess. It's pretty funny. I really like it. I really like the concept of it. It's really funny. Uh, so, yep, that's his grab. Okay, so let's look into his tilt. So, his tilt is really cool. It can stop dashing enemies and it can um, it can also stop Rasengans as well, I believe. Let me just get back to you on that. Okay, so I chose some characters who have uh, Rasengan, a Chidori, and even a Dynamic Entry. These are characters that obviously are moving with their bodies at you with their Jutsus. Now, if I remember rightly, I'm pretty sure Aminato's tilt can actually cancel out those Jutsus if you time it right and if you have some big balls. Yep, so as you can see, he was charging up a Rasengan there and I managed to cancel it. So during the charge up, it seems we can stop it. So with Ch uh, Chidori Blade as well, I should mention, um, Chidori Blade actually has inv invincibi uh, invincibility frames. Sorry, I couldn't say that word for some reason. Uh, Master Rasengan doesn't, so you know. But um, Chidori uh, it has like some extra invincibility frames on it, so we cannot um, actually, uh, you know, get rid of that one. But um, dynamic entry, we can try it. Oh, okay, it doesn't actually work against dynamic entry. Uh, yes, four invincibility frames on that one. Oh, wait, wait, okay, no, it, it did work a little bit. It's very confusing. Yeah, okay, so with that one, as you can see, the kunai actually flipped off. But with me, with some of them, like Naruto and uh, Sasuke, it, it can cancel and can in some cases. So just be careful on how uh, on how you do it. Just be careful on how you're doing it. Maybe it's not always best to do it against um, those type of running jutsus, but I know that most times I've done it against running jutsus, um, it's always succeeded. So, you know, that's always something to consider. Um, but yeah, it's just something that you can try out. So another thing with this tilt, obviously, oh, we're not trying to show off Konohamaru's tilt, we're trying to show off my tilt, so you can stop. <laughs> Alrighty, so yeah, another thing with this tilt is it obviously goes right back into his combo, which is cool. So that's why, like, doing an infinite, like, with his up combo is really cool. Um, wait, if he's actually blocking. Because you can do this over and over and over again because his tilt goes into his combo. So that's another really cool thing. Another really cool thing is that it actually stops chakra dashes. So I will try to um, demonstrate, this, uh, bleh, demonstrate this to you guys. As you can see, it stops a chakra dash. Obviously with some characters, they can actually like wiggle past it kind of. 
Um, so they can actually like go straight past the um... Uh, you know, the uh, the tilt. So make sure you're very careful when you're doing it. Characters that have a straightforward Chakra Dash, like Rock Lee or Mike Guy, they will 100% get caught by this. But characters like Itachi or characters that wave like left and right, um, you know, those characters are the characters that have more chance of, of dodging it. But yes, as you can see, it does stop Chakra Dash and you can get a free combo. Um, if someone were to do an air dash, so if they were to dash at you like, uh, like this, you know, or like this, they will definitely get caught because it's a straight dash. But with characters like Orochimaru or whatever that just wave, um, those characters are more likely to dodge the kunai. And I've had it many times where people have accidentally dodged my uh, <laughs> my my tilt. So that's one thing. So yeah, always be sure to use a tilt. Um, another cool thing to do is that on guard pressure, you can use the tilt. So sometimes what I do in the neutral game is that I just do stuff like this, you know, just do this. And then I'll do something like that. So if you guys want to, I don't know, slow down the video, I, I know that my YouTube videos, they have the, the slow down feature. So if you want to, you can slow down and look on the, on, the, on, the two, on, on the controller what buttons I'm pressing. But basically I'll do like some guard pressure, jump into uh, that and then into that. So I do pressure, chakra kunai and then tilt. And then after that, I will do something like uh, switching into the next character. You know, just something, just something like that, and then eventually you can break a guard as well. It's um, it's more of like a mind game thing doing something like that. So just doing this, and then doing something like that, and then this is what I'll do with Jiraiya after. Um, most of the times, people will counter um when you do this, this, and this. Usually after the support, you know, after your next character's kunai to in like this, that's when they will look at um doing a counter. So what you could do is um oh, so let me break the guard what you could do is this and then just you know bait out the counter land an old majitsu it's really a mind game thing at that point uh depends on the on the thing but you know style on them you know get in their head see minato is all about mind games you know it's all about doing stuff like that and then opening them up and then whatever breaking their guard getting them worried getting them scared you know um minato is very mind games-esque um, and then with all of the kunais that he can do, um, you know, he's really, really good for that stuff. So yeah, we talked about his tilt or whatever and what you can do with it on the, on the thing. So you can cancel it with chakra kunai for that extra guard pressure. Uh, I really do enjoy using it. It's really good fun. Um, so yeah, and then sometimes odd occasion, very rare odd occasion. If, they're, if their guard is low enough, you can get a guard break, but you know, not really a big deal. Right, anyways, uh, air combo. So let's take a look at his air combo. Um, it's very bland, you know, just, you know, a couple of hits, four hits all together. So you've got one, two, three circle hits, but it's four all together. And uh, you can't reset it on the ground this way. I mean, you can juggle with it, but I don't think you can properly ground reset. No, you can't, but you can do it uh, my way. That didn't quite work out. Look at that. Hyper dash, because of misinputs. There we go. So what I did there was a back dash. If you guys want to see a tutorial for this, I've actually uploaded a tutorial. It'll be linked at the top there. So there's a tutorial for that. So what I do is back chakra dash and then start the combo with the next character. But make sure you're very quick when you're starting the combo. Right. Um, so that's his air combo. We went over his grab, his tilt, his combos. Uh, so let's talk about his jitsu. His jitsu is very bland. Um, that's what it does. Um, it's good for guard pressure. So if you do hit the guard, instantly cancel it when, when you got all the hits off. So as you can see, don't just do that. That's not good enough. Uh, when you do that, not good. You want to wait till the Rasengan. He shoves the Rasengan like, across their body. So allow, allow him to do that, then guard pressure. Like that. Because then you're maximizing your potential of getting a guard break. Like so. And then you can go into your combo pressure. Um, so that's this thing. Obviously, he has a charge jitsu. But never really use this. Obviously, if it hits the block, cool. You get a free guard break combo if it hits the block. I'll show you one more time. So, yeah, you open them up right there. Um, but, you know, it's just, it's like... This never really lands. Um, I think you can land it off a, off a guard break. I think you can. Yeah, you can. So you can land it off guard break if you want to do like a, I don't know, like um, 
a setup. So let me demonstrate that for you guys. So uh, Storm Gauge Unlimited. So you can get like a setup with like, I uh, no, your strike back. You know, I always, always have strike back with my team. A, a crip and attack pill. Oh, Majitsu maybe. You know, just, just something like that. Um, but yeah, again, the, the time space for Sengon, it's not really good. Um, you know, it's kind of cool, but it doesn't really have very good tracking. And neither does this. This doesn't have good tracking either. Like if I turn on the thing and then do... What's he using? Chakra Dashing. We don't want that. We want Ninja Move. As you can see, he can ninja move right past it. So not really good. And it'll be the same for the time space you're saying, they can ninja move right past it. So I'd always recommend just doing it like this, you know, using it for great pressure like that. Or if you are, if you've got the chakra, do that. If they're feeling scared and they want to block you, that's their problem because then you can just open them up and then just do stuff like this and then continue with your combos. So yeah. Um, yeah, do that or just use it as like support guard pressure and then just do whatever you want with your next character But yeah, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the jitsu. He doesn't have an air sync on sadly uh, Nothing in the air, but uh, yeah, there's that so let's talk about um, His kunai is a little bit more I actually want to get into his kunai. So this is his chakra kunai if you um, What I wanted you guys to do actually if you guys are still watching the tutorial um, if you want to see any reference to good Minato play I recommend looking at my most recent video of me versus E underscore B slash or Mr. Air Force um, I use this team against him and I do very well I win one of the matches and I lose one of them but I do a lot of great Minato techniques that is very viable against a good player such as him um, but I use this a lot in the neutral game this in the neutral game is really good it does a lot of damage as well Fun fact is that I think it actually does slightly less damage in this game than what it used to in the past games. But as you can see, if you're fortunate enough to land a lot, the damage really adds up. Um, now, you can only uh, hit a maximum of 10 on a full chakra bar, realistically, which is why I stopped after 10. Um, but, you know, just doing that just to get extra health lead or whatever, you know, it just really helps out. If you, know, if you see the health's even, you're both really far apart, and you want to get that extra damage in, you know, just really make sure that you're... Uh, getting that kunai damage off you know and also there's there's three wide yellow kunai you know it, it really gets some good spread going um even against some ninja moving opponents some of them uh, it catches them out as well it, like it catches them it checks them so really good all right now let's talk about his regular kunai now his regular kunai i love because it actually has a lot of stun for kunais because there's three of them um there's three of them they're they're kind of spread apart a little bit and they're very apparent so with this you can actually um get hit confirms with it and confirmed guard pressure which i will try to demonstrate for you now so i'm going to turn on the guard so uh what i mean with hit confirms is that you can actually go in like this and land a combo but it's very hard it's not something i've mastered yet um i think it's not really something that a lot of people have mastered really i don't think anyone can do it every time but um yeah really good fun one thing that a lot of people see me do and a lot of people are like screaming over is something sometimes i do a combo like this uh so i'll try and do this do that and then i'll jump over and land uh kunai into hit confirm combo um but i gotta try and do it right and it's really hard all right, so I've actually decided I'm going to switch the game to 30 FPS to see if it works better because I think it's harder to do in 60 than it is in 30. Uh, I have landed it in 60, but I'm going to try 30 instead. There you go, guys. So as you can just see, I actually just landed a hit confirm with the kunais in the neutral right there. Um, it's quite hard to do. Um, it's really hard to do. Uh, I actually had to switch to 30 FPS to do it, which is where uh, Storm is usually today. But as you can see, I just did it again right there. Um, and the guard is on as well. So, yep, he's guarding. Uh, but yeah, it's really hard to do. But um, if you can actually land it, um, yeah, it's good. Luckily, the competitive Storm is played on 30 anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, for the sake of this video, I just had to switch it just over just to really show you that it does exist. <laughs> There we go. That's something else I do as well. So if I fuck up the combo like this, I'll just jump in and then do that, which is really good. And as you can see, it was confirmed combo. I did it twice in a row. Um, so yes, those kunais are a godsend for Minato. Right, I'm putting this back in 60 FPS. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, we did that. So we did the kunai. 
Um, I think that's pretty much everything for Minato, I believe. Uh, you know, we showed off his combos. I guess in the neutral game, we'll go into a little bit more. So yeah, throwing this around and then making good making good use of his, uh, of his movement. His movement is really good. He takes long lunges back and, uh, you know, he's pretty good with his movement. Obviously with the speed pill, he's even better. And also just doing a lot of this as well, uh, really good, you know. Um, you know, stuff like that um, is really good in a neutral game. You'll see me use it quite a lot in natural, like natural fights as well. Just a lot of like, you know, chakra dash cancels and movement backs, wherever movement to the side, or even jumping like this, like chuck, you know, cancel into you know bunny hop to the side. Um, Minato is a character that is played with speed and played very, very fast. Oh yeah, I did say I go into his guard pressure with his kunai. So um, what I do is this. This is guaranteed, usually. Um, so when I do this, they actually can't really get out or anything. Um, people will obviously tilt right there in between those two hits. So to stop them doing that, you can do something like this. Um, just do the first couple of hits is what I'll do. Or you can do that. Or do this. So I usually I like to do this a lot. Sometimes they'll try to move out, but if they do, they get caught by the kunai sometimes. And then, you know, if they're really unlucky, they'll get caught by the kunai hit confirm with his combos. So, you know, I like to pin him down like this. Um, but, you know, doing this is um, a good way. Like this, or I like to do out combo into that. Um, it depends on the character you're comboing, because some can tilt out a bit faster than others. Um, so this can be good. Um, people can't really tell of it as quickly if you do this on their blocks so i find that this can be really good sorry just doing that and then you know hollow step into kunai um but i see to jump into kunai that usually works i wouldn't recommend a character like minato for jailing i recommend him just doing this and then there we go ripping them up into that um but yeah that's pretty much it for Minato in his base form. That's pretty much like everything I can think of. Um, you'll find that movement and hollow stepping is Minato's best friend. And also, if you want some style points, you can always do that up combo that I showed you guys earlier. Into like a toe or into like a, a, a old Majitsu. Just make sure you're fast with your inputs, honestly. Um, okay, right. Let's get into his awakening. So his awakening, I've managed to find a few things, but nothing too interesting. It's not an obnoxious awakening uh, because his moveset is basically the same. Okay, so here's his awakening. Um, his awakening, like I said, not really great. Um, he's got these. Um, flying Raijin. Which is really good. You can't really do much after. Except chakra dashing, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but yeah, there's that as well. You can actually do them in the air, I think, as well. Um, so I think you can do them like this. Yeah, so you can do it whilst floating in the air whilst doing ninja move uh, kunai. So jump in the air, ninja move kunai. And then he continues to do it. So I guess if you really want to get your timing right, you can try and hit confirm it off the kunai. I don't think I can do it, though, because I'm too scared I'd mess it up, so... <laughs> yeah, there's that as well. Um, also, guys, I've actually found a really interesting thing with Minato and his Awakening, and I'll show off in a second. But anyways, um, so yeah, let me just give off some combos that you can do with him in his Awakening. So you can do like his full down combo. Into that. Oh, I thought you could anyway. There you go, yeah, full down combo. Into that. And then, yeah, you can basically just... Um, so you, basically, after the um, the kunais, right, you can actually do two forms of chakra dashes. Or not two forms, but like two ways to get behind them. So first way, doing it early and then being already on the ground like so. Or you can do it late and end up in the air with them for an air combo. And then, you know, do do something like that. I'd say that Minato and his awakening is more of a support, you know? Um, I don't really think he's much of a main. If As long as a character is facing away from Minato, Minato will always come behind them like so. So, um, if I'm playing a Minato player, I would always walk this way. Because if I walk this way like this, I'm always, he's always going to end up behind me. And if I'm already walking like this, no matter how much he tries to hit me, he will always whiff. Um, so when you're playing against Minato, that's something to take into consideration. He will always be behind them, no matter where you are. <clears throat> um, and so then another thing, uh, yeah, so his combos. And 
And then you can go into like a juggle combo or something. You know, uh, just whatever juggle combo you have with your support of Minato. Minato is a supporting character in his awakening, guys. Like, that's just the way I, I, I'd put it. I'd say, like, you know, he's, he's, he's good at, like, you know, getting behind him. You know, do some stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, you can do something like this. Um, but the thing is, the amount of time it takes for Minato to... Um, uh, for Minato to actually do a hit after the Chakra Dash, it's not really good. Uh, so I'll show that now. Um, also, I need uh, support gauge now. So, um, you know, like... I mean, it's okay, I guess. You know, you got to be very coordinated with your attacks, I guess. But um, So, you know, it's good for, like, checking them. Oh, yeah, one last thing you can do with the Awakening is I actually found out that you can do a Spark Dash off of it. So doing this costs right, regular Chakra, right? So just doing this, regular Chakra. If I do a regular one, regular Chakra. However, I actually have a Spark Dash uh, st stored in. See? Now, before your Omojutsu ends, just do this. Get the distance, whatever. Do something like that. And now you have your very own stored up spark dash ready to use. Like so. So that's a pretty cool thing. So that's just like a little neat feature. Uh, guys, use that however you will. Um, you know, just a nice little stored spark dash thing with Minato. I thought was pretty uh, interesting. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, Minato is pretty cool. He's, he's no, I'd say he's more like supporting type in his awakening, but in his main form, he can be really good with the kunai pressure. He's very good at speed and head games, you know, doing a lot of, you know, just head games and stuff and speed. Um, you know, he's very good at that. He can be very stylish, obviously, he is like a styler's go-to in a lot of the older games and even in this game um oh there we go we've got another hit confirm off the kunai again but um yeah you know this is basically minato he is the kun the, you know the, the the flying raging kunai god or whatever but anyways uh that is it for minato i'm going to end the video on a nice omojutsu for him i might make this like a thing now this is his other omojutsu that i didn't show earlier the really better looking one and yeah this is minato namikaze all right, guys, well, I think I'm going to call it quits on this. If there's anything else that I've missed or if you think there's anything that I, uh, that I should have talked about, be sure to put it in the comment section. That is, let's grow and learn together in Storm 4. As always, it's been your boy, Poison Akami. As always, Jeanne, matane.